Hello everyone, I'm a board certified dermatologist, Dr. Victoria Kozlowska. Today I'm going to talk about frontal fibrosing alopecia. It's a type of hair loss that usually is seen in premenopausal and menopausal women. And it does usually start in the frontal scalp with women losing their hair in these areas, but it also can affect temples and areas behind your ears. We see sometimes a red inflamed areas around the hair follicles and patients sometimes um, complain on each but in many cases it does not have any um each or any symptoms at all and women do not even notice until their front line is lost uh, quite uh, quite a bit we don't usually do any tests to diagnose it because it's pretty obvious clinical conditions but sometimes we need a little piece of your skin to send it for the biopsy and we can see in the microscope this inflammation that actually kills your hair follicles unfortunately we have to be very aggressive to treat this disease because we want to stop it because the lost follicles are almost impossible to get back and that is why the treatment sometimes includes uh, pretty strong immunosuppressive medications if the disease is progressed. So what do we use for treatment? In the localized disease, we can use topical treatments in, in form of creams or ointments. We usually do topical corticosteroid or topical immunosuppressive medications. Sometimes we inject those steroids in the hair follicle, try to stop this inflammation. It's a pretty simple method and gives a high rate of satisfaction. It is slightly painful, but usually it's tolerated pretty well. In more severe cases, we use oral medications such as dutasteride, finasteride, right in menopausal women. women. Uh, we can also use oral antibiotics to stop the inflammation or oral immunosuppressive medications. Of course, oral medications need monitoring from a board certified dermatologist to be sure that there are no side effects and you are tolerating their uh, treatment well. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer. Please comment below with your questions, comments, and I will be happy to answer all of them.